everyone. I'm up here on a cold and windy day in the highlands of Glencoe. Right now I've hiked up to a mountain, pretty small peak, um, that's just across from this massive peak. That's one of the biggest peaks in Glencoe. And I'm actually currently searching for a composition. So I uh, hiked from over there in the valley and right now I've come up here and I'm looking for a composition that will use this river as a leading line into the direction of the sun and the sun should be setting somewhere around there later in the day. So right now I'm searching for a good location that I could use and right now here you can see I've cut off some of the river with that bridge so I need to likely head over there or back there so yeah oh, what a magnificent view so i hiked a little bit further on not quite at the peak the peak is over there but uh, I'm looking for a way to make this river mountain scene work. And the problem that I'm seeing here is as I hike this way, the river gets further and further away. So it will be more and more of a, a horizontal line through my composition rather than one that's leading into the sun like that or into the, the light. Uh, so I think I might head back a little bit to one of these uh, ridges and see what I can find there. And hopefully these clouds will uh, <laughs> will clear a little. Um, this is very cool and mystical, of course, but I would love to have that peak in my composition. All right, let's keep looking. Got a composition in mind here. We have this ledge and then we have the leading line into the light, hopefully. And I'm going to try to frame it in a way such that I can have myself there and then it's kind of an interaction between person and, uh, and the light with the mountain being there in the background. But we'll see, it might be, might be without the person. I'm not too sure yet. Right now, as you can see, the rain has come in and everything is just getting shrouded in clouds. So I'm seeking shelter from the wind just behind uh, this sledge, or just on the other side of that, it's insanely windy. So I will hang out here for a little bit and hopefully wait for conditions to improve. Maybe we'll see some interesting cloud movement. Well, my GoPro died, as it tends to do, so I'm filming on my phone right now. And uh, yeah, I went back up to where I was before to check to see if uh, the conditions improved, if maybe the mountain is visible, and uh, yeah, <laughs> this is this is what we've got. Uh, yeah, so it's now about 4:30. Uh, sunset is at 6, so we have maybe an hour, um, hour and a half at most, and yeah, I'll keep waiting a little bit longer. By the way, I know some people tend to say that if you, uh, if you show up and the conditions are not what you hoped and you can't do the composition that you were hoping to do, 
uh, you should improvise and find other uh, entirely different potentially uh, kinds of images like look down and try to photograph the grass around you or some other kind of small object like that um, and I think in general that's pretty good advice um, I think that there's a lot of value in that but I have to say ultimately I am here for a specific kind of image I'm here for a big dramatic landscape because that's what I am uh, trying to work on and that's what I would like to see more of in my portfolio so I will likely have to come back I did shoot a uh, telephoto image uh, of, of uh, some trees back there before everything became you know cloud cover uh, so I will show you what that looks like but I, I doubt anything really came of that and yeah otherwise for now wait <laughs> yeah this is pretty much what you see everywhere around me right now um, yeah so I think that it's very unlikely that we'll get any clearing at this point and this is my first time in this area and it's quite slick so I'm gonna start heading down but uh, yeah I will have to come back here another time and hopefully the visibility will be better. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>